Well, Darren, an important win and one I imagine you're really pleased with the attitude of those players going down to 10 men, back to the wall, got the important three points. Yeah, I thought they dealt with that very well. I thought, um, obviously, they had lots of box entries and there was lots of kind of um, heart in your hand moments. Does that make sense? I think it does. Um, uh, and, uh, you know, and look, sometimes you just have those days where you, you're resolute and you kind of hold on for dear life and... You know, today was one of them. Um, I thought the players were excellent, and the team that finished was such a young team. Um, I thought it was uh, it typified their their spirit, and uh, we all know that this, this is a group that wants to roll their sleeves up and, and give it a good go and a good fight. And uh, I thought they showed that in abundance. And getting that goal inside the first 15 minutes, wonderful finish from Charlie Wakeford. You needed that in recent weeks. Yeah, of course, and um, the manner of it typifies the the role that we. We really want him to play, uh, and how sorry how we want him to play the role, um, because his pace is, um, you know, it's electrifying, and it turns some some inaccuracies or sometimes a lack of quality into something of quality and accurate. So he uh, his pace does fill a, a huge void for us in that in those moments. Uh, but it was a good finish. It was very calm and very you know I, I like the way he brought the ball back outside of his outside of his hips to open the goal up. I thought that was very centre forward like. It wasn't a winger type touch, but uh, I thought he did that very well. But his work rate when we went down to 10 men, I thought it was incredible, absolutely incredible. And Woking brought on two substitutions at half time, shows you how dominant Yeovil Town were, but then going down to 10 men, that was tough on the players. Yeah, definitely. Um, uh, I think Mark slips into it really. I think he loses his footing and slips it. That's how I saw it. I don't, I don't think Mark's dopey enough to, at 33 to dive in on a, on a booking. So that was unfortunate and uh, obviously we had to reshuffle but um, I thought Jack Robinson did very well when he came off. Well, Williams Williams is in the form of his life. He's just, for me, he's faultless at the minute. Um, I just thought the first half, I thought we played really well for 35 minutes. I thought we were so comfortable and almost brimming with confidence which is not always the case when you haven't won in a few. Um, and, uh, and, and in the last 10 minutes and a half, I just thought that confidence became complacency and, and we lacked purpose after that. But <clears throat> obviously the game changes in, after the sending off and we have to be a little bit more cautious. And you know, sometimes those balls come into the box and someone's just waiting there to edit on the back post. So, you know, we've, we've, uh, it was a very hard earned win um, and it doesn't matter how they come, we take as many as we can. And not an easy debut for... Ben Barkley, how no. did you think he did? Well, he was magnificent, obviously. The back, the back four and the goalkeeper should take, um, you know, massive credit and plaudits for their uh, for their resolve and their resilience. And uh, I thought Ben was excellent. We, we spoke actually quite a lot uh, for a 26-year-old to uh, coming in on loan. Only for, Ben and I have actually spoken a fair bit in the first few days, which is sometimes difficult, but... I tried to give him as clear an indication. He wanted me to give him clear instructions on what was expected of him. And from what I spoke to him about, he he executed that very, very well. And he's, uh, he's a good player, Ben. He's a, he's a very good player. And uh, he just needed a new, maybe a new changing room, a new set of walls and maybe some new teammates um, to kind of reignite that, that performance level. But... He was great, absolutely. Him and I thought Wilkinson was great, rubbish and great, all in the same game. And um, uh, he has a massive influence, Luke, over our playing style and he can't afford to be rubbish. <laughs> but he, he, he kind of, when it went to 10 men, I thought he, I thought he came into his own there and um, him and Barkley were, were fabulous. It's never easy for you in terms of numbers, <clears throat> be without Little and Knowles on Tuesday. And Jordan Barnett went off, what's the latest on him? Jordan was feeling his hamstring. Um, so that you know that'll be touch and go. But listen, we've we've been here before. You know we've we've been in these positions before. We have to um, we have to keep pushing and soldiering on and trying to make sure that we pick the right team for the right game. Just because you win one nil away at Woking doesn't doesn't mean that, that team should be the team on Tuesday. Um, Mark Mark was going to be rested anyway Tuesday because of his his conditioning and the timing that he's been out. <coughs> um, so. Yeah, I can't. I'm not trying to protect him on that one, but that was kind of the early plan. Um, but then, of course, you have him on the bench just in case. So, no, it'll be it'll be a shame to be without him. Tom, we spoke to Tom before the game about his four bookings and that he had to get through today, and he's gone through quite a, a long time without getting booked. And then the daft bugger got uh, received the caution for delaying the, the start, which was 
true Tom Knowles dopey fashion. Um, so, um, so yeah, look, we'll be short. We've, we're always short. Uh, I've told, as I've told the players already. I think it's really important. It, no matter how they feel on Tuesday, there's no room for fatigue in these games against Weymouth. They have to feel and be ready to go to battle, go to war. And it feels strange that that's the first meeting in the league after those two Mammoth FA Cup games. It's going to be a big crowd at Hewish Park. Players must be really up for it. Yeah, they're good, they're good games. Um, the two FA Cup games were horrendous. Um, absolutely horrendous features for me. But um, hopefully this will be a, a little bit of a better showing. Um, it was nice to get that, that win, that New Year win out the way going into it. Because I think every player, any human being, goes down the tunnel after a win in a in a different state and um, it would just be important now that we try and push and we try and uh, we try and create some sort of momentum I always think the second game is the hardest after a win to back it up so that it's not in vain um, so it'll be tough and physically and mentally it'll be a, it'll be a tough night Tuesday